One of the major areas of concern during the RNC is trying to get around in downtown Cleveland. Yeah, five on your side. Investigator Jonathan Walsh has been tracking down what's happening with transportation. And Jonathan, driving anywhere downtown this it week. It has been tricky. interesting. No doubt about that. I mean, we have seen all kinds of crazy things. Let's take a look out our front windshield as we speak. You know, at noon today, I showed you how a truck that was parking where it wasn't supposed to be created quite a bit of a traffic mess. And right now, you can see we're still in a little bit of a mess. We're right near Public Square as we speak. And there have been slow times, there have been bus times, and times for Uber. The parking lot is uh, private to 530. Carlos Plas is a parking attendant for this lot in the 1200 block of Prospect. He's having to turn back potential parkers. Yeah, maybe USA got something across the street that you can pay them. You see, right in front of his lot are normally dozens of meters, but during the RNC, no one is allowed to park there. He's making sure the people working at Ohio Title have their spaces by the time they need to head home, even when the RNC participants are desperate. A couple of people just stopped by, you know, trying to uh, park. Uh, you know, they offer money, you know. We'll pay you more. Parking is anywhere from $20 to $50 around the event. Buses are running a full schedule if you're not interested in plopping down that kind of cash. I saw lots of empty seats at this mini hub on West 3rd Street. Drivers are hoping to get you around all the blocked off streets and tricky traffic. Right now it's a normal day, but there's a lot of people that have taken off to avoid downtown, so it's a little less, but then you get into people from out of town that's sort of making up for your normal crowd. If you're looking for something more convenient, Uber drivers like Justin Orion from Berea are here, and so are a bunch more. Good. I know that they have uh, invited other people from other surrounding states and cities to come in and participate, which is great for the customers who need rides because there's never going to be a wait. But, you know, with all the traffic patterns and everything, it's a little difficult to get around, but we're all figuring it out. Back out here live, you're looking at West 3rd, and if you're looking to drive down here, pack your patience. It's a bit slow going, that's for sure. There are a very limited number of parking spots. Now, you can pay that 20 bucks to park, but you'll be walking quite a ways to get to the events downtown.